right guys, welcome back to the channel everybody. Guess where we are today? We are down in the Cleveland Metro Parks and what we're gonna do is I'm going on my very first Bigfoot encounter location video here. I live in Cleveland and there was actually one here in Cuyahoga County in this park. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna go take you to the location and let's go check it out. Glad you guys are with me. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you like the video, leave some comments, all that good stuff. Let's get to it. All right, as you guys can see, I'm down here in the park and we're gonna go check out uh, this Bigfoot location. Now, this is not a uh, huge park by any stretch of the imagination. I think it goes like for 20 miles, but it's really thin. Uh, there are some places, well, I'll take you back to the river and on the other side of the river, there's some land. But besides that, if you look to that hill right there, that's the boundary of the park. Over that hill, there's houses and residential area. So this is called the Cleveland Metro Park Reservation, Rocky River Reservation, where we are. And you guys can see these huge trees back through here. But anyway, in 2003, I guess two young ladies were back here fishing and they crossed the river. They happened to see a black figure come out of the woods. At first they thought it was a deer. But then after seeing it more, they realized it was not a deer. So let's go check this uh, location out. It's not very far. If the river is low enough, I'm gonna try to go ahead and um, wade across and go to the other side. I can't promise you guys that, but we will see. I used to work down here giving golf lessons at one of these golf courses also. So I'm familiar with a lot of the wildlife down here. And believe me when I tell you, it is full. It is full of deer, raccoons, rabbits, you know, whatever you want to name, it's down here. Now there's no like grizzly bears or anything like that, obviously, because we're in Ohio. There are no black bears down here either, but there are coyotes and occasional bobcat. But let me go check out these flowers for you. Wow, pretty, huh? Pretty stuff down here. All right, let's not get sidetracked. We're looking for Bigfoot now, right? So you see how old a lot of these trees are down through here? And there are other locations down in this park that are uh, even more wild, I guess you could call it. Beautiful stuff out here. So yeah, I'm going to be, this is my very first Bigfoot encounter location video. And I'm going to be making a bunch more of these, you know, here in Ohio, there's a lot of sightings. So, I will be visiting these other sightings. Here we are coming up to the river. I believe that person has headphones on so they can't even hear me. And I believe down this way a little bit further is where the two women had their encounter. So, on the other side of the river is where they saw that creature. So let's walk up through here and get to that spot. But in the meantime, I guess I can show you some more of this wildlife. I don't see very many animals at the moment, but you guys can see the flowers and the beautiful river. Okay, so here's the rock wall that they're talking about. Now, I don't know if this is the exact spot. I think it's a little bit further down, but you guys can see on the other side over there, all that land over there. And between he, the river here and where that land is, on the other side is just like the airport. And uh, there's some hotels up through there, but there is, 
you know, a spot of land back there that something could hide out for a little bit, I guess. I mean, I don't think it would be there forever. I think it would probably be migrating through here, following the deer. But on the other side over there, there is a lot of spots that people don't go to. I think the only people that go over there are the ones that ride horses. So there's not very many people over there disturbing that area. You guys see that fish jump in the water right there? All right, let me walk a little bit further up. Hope you guys are liking this video. If you are, make sure you hit that like button for me, please. Share it. Let me know you guys like it. That way I can go make some more. You know, go further and further away here in Ohio. And then hopefully one day soon, I want to go to British Columbia, Canada. Go out there to the Harrison Hot Springs area. Sasquatch Provincial Park. That's uh, a dream of mine. So here we are at the river. Here's the rock wall that where they were sitting, so they were fishing. And once again, you gotta see all that land over there. Looks like the river's a little bit too deep, I guess, at the moment to, to uh, wade across it. I will bring some waders and go over there at another time. It's not so deep right here. I don't know, it's probably three, four feet deep out there. It's not like 20 feet deep or anything like that. All right, let's keep walking. Let's go a little bit further up. All right, I think this is where they were actually. If I'm being honest about my assessment, I think this is where they were fishing from, right up here on this. This is the same rock wall. It comes all the way down and it ends right here. So I think that this is where they were fishing. Okay, so this is the area that we're talking about. You see all the residential area surrounding it, right? So the area, well, the highway that they're talking about is right there, 480. You see how it runs right over that uh, green spot? That's the park that runs through like I was telling you, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. First of all, I'll show you the horse stables. The horse stables are right there. And then you see all the land that goes behind the horse stables over here on the other side of the river. Nobody really ever goes over there. That's a hill where you see this road right here. Let me put it in. It, there's a little hill there, a little rise that goes up into that residential area there. And then behind that, you see the airport over here on the right. But you see the land that there is is back there that no one really ever goes to. Um, so that's where the area was that they had their sighting. You know, over here. This is where the creature was in this area here. Okay, that rock wall that they were on is literally right here. We'll zoom in on that. That's where they were. That's where they were. That's where they saw the Bigfoot. And once again... It was over on that side of the river. And you see these patches of grass here. That was not developed before. And that factory right there was not... This factory right here was not there. Or whatever that is, that development. So there was land up here also. You know, on top up there. And like I said, over here... This wasn't here either. These are like rental cars for the airport. For right here. So that wasn't there. I don't believe in 2003. But you see there's even more land over this way. It just, you know, there's a lot of trees through here. Like I said, this valley goes, you know, pretty good distance. So there it is. I just wanted to show you the area from the satellite view. There's the stables and this patch of land right here. On this, on the north side of the, well, I guess it's the south side, but on the top of the picture, I should say, above the river there is the land where they saw that creature. You guys hear all these birds? Oh, there we go zooming across but yeah i think this is where they were and they said that they saw this creature over there so that is the spot of land you, just, you guys can see it goes down pretty far 
and the uh, the highway bridge that they're talking about is literally right around that bend. It's right up through there, so it's not very far away. But this is the spot right here, ladies and gentlemen. Right over there. The 2003 Bigfoot sighting. The only one ever recorded in Cuyahoga County. You know, and of course, Cuyahoga County is like a major urban area. But this park down here, you know, it is very big. It's not very wide, but it goes down like 20, 30 miles. It's broken in spots, don't get me wrong. There's development in some spots where it's kind of broken it up. But it goes down to Hinkley. And down there it's called the Hinkley Emerald Reser Reservation because, um, you know, it's such a beautiful spot down there. A lot more hilly and all that stuff. So I'll have to go down there one day also and make a video down there. But in the meantime, I just thought I'd come down here and see what we can see at this location. It's a beautiful day. I'm glad to be out of the house finally. Let me zoom over there and see if there's anything over there. I will be bringing my waders back to get across over there. And we'll go tromping through the woods over there also. See what we can find. I mean, it happened so long ago that chances are there's probably nothing, you know, over there right now. Maybe they might have built a structure or something, a tree structure that I could find. But other than that, I'm sure the creatures probably moved on by now. Because I'll show you on the map, the area isn't really big. But there is enough wildlife. Fish in the river, deer, all kinds of critters for an animal like that to uh, eat fine down here, that's for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, read the Bigfoot Researchers Organization report. It's on their website. It's only, you know, like a couple minutes worth of a report here for me to read. So hope you guys enjoy it. This encounter happened in uh, September of the year 2003 and two young ladies um, were fishing and this is what happened. This is their report on the BFRO website. My friend and I were fishing along the Rocky River in the Rocky River Reservation. We were up on a rock wall that was about eight feet above the water. We had been fishing there about two hours when we saw a herd of deer cross the river away from us. About five minutes later, we could see something moving around in the woods directly across from where we were sitting. The river in this part of the reservation is about 20 feet across. We just figured it was a deer and continued to fish. Then I realized that if it was just a deer, it would have to have been really tall or standing on its hind legs. It looked as though it was trying to eat leaves off of the trees. The sunlight caught its eyes and I realized it was looking forward at us with these glowing reddish orange eyes glowing from the sunlight and I'm not implying it possessed scary demon eyes or something as I was trying to figure out what this quote unquote deer was doing I realized it was starting to make its way out of the woods this is when my friend and I realized it was not a deer at all a large black image that was standing on two legs started to appear through the trees. My friend took off with her fishing gear at this point and went to her car. I continued to stand there in disbelief of what I was seeing. It stood there at the base of the woods looking at me. I could see this creature standing plain as day 20 feet across the river from me. I could see it was well over six feet tall and had black fur from head to toe. Once I realized what I was looking at, I grabbed my fishing gear and took off across the field to my friend's car. I even tripped and fell over at one point and peed in my pants in fear that it may have been chasing me because I started running. Once I got in the car, I asked my friend what she saw and she said she wasn't sure, but that she was never going to Rocky River Reservation again. A lot of downfalls and a lot of places for something to hide in here. As you guys can see, lots and lots. Now I'm not saying, oh, I just heard something over there. Now I'm not saying this is like a Bigfoot hotspot or anything like that. 
but I can see how a creature could come down here and uh, hide out for a while, you know? Maybe for a summer, something like that, have its own little paradise back through there. Nobody over there really, like I said, nobody really goes over there to that part on the river over there because there's really no access to it unless you're gonna cross the river here. And the river's not too deep as you guys can see. It just looks really slick, a lot of algae on it. That's all like flag rock or whatever it is on the bottom there that none of that is sand. That is completely rock all the way across until I guess you get over there to the gravel or something. But at this part of the river right here, it's all rock straight across. But having said that, not a lot of people go across over there at all. Like I said, I think there's like bridal trail with horses, but not very many people are down here riding horses in this location anymore. There are stables over here. I'll show you that on the map also. So they do ride through here, but it's not, you know, not a whole bunch. But anyway, I thought I'd show you guys that. Show you guys all these locations here that definitely a lot of places for this uh, Bigfoot to be out for a while do its thing I keep glancing over there but I don't really see anything at the moment like I said before I used to work down here and give them golf lessons and uh, there are a lot of creatures down here a lot of deer sorry about the wind Feels good though. So this is definitely a new type of video for me. You know, I don't know how it's gonna come over, go over, but let's see, let's see how it works. See if you guys like it. Because I plan on making a bunch more of these if I can. I'm gonna go visit a lot of different locations. Here in Ohio said earlier and then hopefully uh, build it from there go to other go to other places too okay here is a good example of how narrow this park gets sometimes you guys see the cars going through right there maybe you don't see them but you can hear them there's a hill right on the other side of that road there and literally on top of that hill is where the park ends and there's residential area now it's not all this thin don't get me wrong it's not all this thin but there are areas like this where it literally comes down to like a bottleneck where there's maybe I don't know half a mile or a quarter mile probably half a mile across and that's it but like I said the park stretches pretty far it's just in areas that's pretty narrow. They call it the Rocky River Reservation, um, the valley, because this river runs through these, you know, has carved its way through here and carved out this little valley. So the little valley is what they made the park. It just happens to run for, you know, quite a few miles. So we're getting closer to the highway. I don't know if you can hear it louder, but like I said, it's around that bend. We're getting closer to it. You see the geese over there. That's the area right over there. Saw that creature come out of the woods. 
here in Cleveland, Ohio. It's fascinating, I'll tell you. It is fascinating because there is a lot down here. Like I've seen that they could survive on for a while. It looks like they, the, the park department has built maybe an access road across the river there. I'm gonna go around there and check that out. Let's go check that out. That might make it really easy for me to get across there. Cleveland Metro Parks is a very beautiful place. So much different stuff to check out. Still, even through over there, there's really not much over there like I was seeing at all. There's uh, not much over there at all like I was saying is what I meant to say. <laughs> it's easy for me to say. It probably goes another quarter mile, half a mile until you run, run into a hill that goes up. And then, like I said, on the other side of that is the airport. Some hotels and stuff like that. And in 2003, it wasn't as developed as it is now up there either. There was more land up on top over there. It wasn't developed. So there was, you know, even more land than there is now. All right, let's keep walking. Okay, so here's the uh, access road for the uh, park service that we saw a minute ago. Here's where it goes down, that's pretty steep. I don't know how often this is being used because you see how steep that is. And there's no tire marks here or literally anywhere across the river there that I see. So maybe they just used it. Or you know what this is actually? This is the horse trail, I believe. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, this is the horse trail that comes through here and they cross the river and they come across. That's what it is. Like I was saying before, there's stables up through there. Very, very interesting. Let's walk a little bit further. Maybe I can show you where that bridge is. So I can show you that other piece of evidence that we're in the right place. See all the uh, hideouts and things like that where it could just be high now. A lot of things down here, a lot of areas, a lot of downfall trees. So, I want to give a shout out to one of my favorite Bigfoot channels. Well, there's a couple, so I'll give a couple shout outs. First one is Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization. Man, they do a lot of uh, amazing things. They're always out in the field. They're the ones that are kind of inspired me to come out here and do these, th you know, start doing this. Because they're always out in the field doing videos. They're always out on location, spending their own money, going all over the Rocky Mountains in the Northwest. One day, hopefully, I'll be able to uh, go in that area also. But for now, I just have to stick to Ohio. But that's okay. There's a lot of sightings here in Ohio. The other Bigfoot organization I'd like to give a shout out to is British Columbia Bigfoot. That guy goes out there and he gets it done also. He visited Micah Mountain. I put his video, or a link to his video in my Micah Mountain video. He, uh, he gets it done also, he goes out there. All right, enough blowing smoke up people's butts. Man, these trees are pretty big though, aren't they? Down here, huge. 
that's what you get when you, you know have a park to protect stuff like this from people. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nothing like the Pacific Northwest. But still, you know, for for Cleveland here. Cleveland's a really urban area. For Cleveland, there's a lot of trees, and you know, these trees are really big. In other places of Ohio, you know, there's forests and stuff like that, but right here by Cleveland. We'll take it. Alright, I'm gonna come down here and you can see the highway now. Zoom in. That's the highway right there. I don't know if you can see those little cars going across the top of it. That's the 480 bridge. Let me unzoom before I move pan so you guys don't get really dizzy. And around that bend there is where that rock wall is. We walked from, I don't know if you guys can see those orange barricades right there. That rock wall is literally right on the other side of those. So this is the area, ladies and gentlemen, the 2003. Cleveland area Bigfoot location right across the river there like I said I'll try to get across there you know maybe in a day or two I'll bring some waders down here I thought maybe it'd be a little bit more shallow even there where it's just rocks across it's probably two feet deep I'll just bring a couple waders you know not a couple waders but a set of waders and I'll uh, put them on and I'll go over there and we'll go check it out See what it's all about. You, you guys see all those minnows down there? I don't know what they are, but there's a whole bunch of them. Wrap right around, all the way around through there. They're actually jumping over here. I wonder if there's something chasing them because there's a whole bunch, thousands of them. I don't know if you guys can see them. I mean, you guys see how much land is over there. From way over there. And literally, it goes all the way up to the highway. And past the highway, because like I said, the airport's right over there. And that's land that nobody's allowed to be on, basically. So, you know, it's just wildlife back in there also. I mean, most of the airport properties, runways and all that, but there are some, you know, areas that it's just the land with trees and things like that. I'll tell you, if I wasn't, uh, if I didn't know I was in Cleveland, Ohio right now, I would think, right? Like, doesn't this look kind of squatchy? <laughs> Looks kind of squatchy to me. There are so many people that come down through here though on this side, there's no use in me <laughs> looking for tracks or anything like that. I mean, if I was over there on that side, it'd be another story. But right here, you know, this is where people walk all the time. And I'm pretty sure there's not a Bigfoot that lives down here full time. I think it was just a creature that might've been passing through, following the um, herds of deer that come all the way through the valley. And like I was telling you guys before I worked out here, and there would be huge bucks. I think I might have a picture that I could put in the video. If not, sorry, I might have deleted it. But there were huge bucks that literally I could walk up to like from here to that tree away from and they would just stand there and eat. Because they're so used to people down here that you know they're not endangered or anything. They're they're not afraid. So on the golf course, the bucks would be all around in the fall especially. There's that highway again. Whoa, 
is that a tree structure? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not a tree structure. As you guys can see, that big tree that was down there before, it uh, it definitely floods down through here and brings a lot of big, huge trees through. This rocky river uh, goes down to Lake Erie. It empties out into Lake Erie. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. There's a uh, fish right there in the water. It's hard for me to tell because of the sun on the screen right now. If you guys can get a clear view of it or not, you know what I mean? They glare off of my camera screen. But I can see it with my sunglasses. So I'm thinking you'll, you guys will be able to see it. I don't know what kind of fish it is, but it's just sitting there hanging out, doing its thing behind these logs, this dead log. I guess it's just waiting on something to come through. Who knows? So now we are on our way away from the river back towards the uh, parking lot. But I just thought all these dead downwood trees and uh, places to hide would be cool to check out. So I hope you guys enjoy. Is that a tree break over there? Nah, just wind or something probably. But you guys can see, you know, the foliage is down here tends itself, tends to lend itself to uh, something to be able to hide if it wanted to. A lot of down timber, deadfalls, stumps. Look at this. I would be willing to bet almost anything that at the moment there's something in there hiding. Not, you know, not a Bigfoot or whatever, but probably like a deer, raccoon, whatever. I mean, look, look over there. Let me walk over this way. Well, you see, this is a game trail through here. See this? So let's follow this game trail and see where it leads us. How about it? Now we're going on the other side of this structure. Well, not a structure. That's definitely not a structure. It's just dead wood. A tree that's fallen right there. And we see these, these tracks here. All right, I need to wait for that siren to go by in the road. So we uh, see those tracks there. I think they're deer. If we go over and up in here, you see the trail still goes here. You see the tracker. You see the trail going right through here. It goes right through there also. I'm not gonna go t too much further up in there because I don't wanna get poison ivy or ticks or whatever at the moment. We 
wear some more appropriate clothes next time. I'm gonna be coming tromping through the woods. I guess we can go a little bit further. Just for you guys. I'll tell you, there are a lot of places for things to hide down through here in this park. And I'm in just one little tiny bit of the park here. Like I said, this park goes for miles and miles. Oh, I wonder what that kind of flower is coming up. likely. It's a huge tree that fell right there. All right, so let's see. Back to the uh, fields where they play softball in the parking lot, in the road, and then the other side of the road over there you see I don't know, about a quarter mile away and up that hill and then there's a residential area from there but like I said this park goes for miles it's a beautiful park here in Cleveland Ohio like I actually think I'm in Rocky River Ohio at the moment but, uh, the park travels through a few communities along the rocky river. All right, so there you have it. Another video in the books. Hope you guys enjoyed that. My first visit to a Bigfoot encounter location. It's the closest one, of course. But that's okay. We're going to do more and more from here. A lot of sightings here in Ohio we're going to get to. And hopefully pretty soon, I'll be able to go to British Columbia and go check out those amazing spots also. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys stay tuned if you guys want to see me go across the river over there check out the sasquatch area leave some comments hit that like button share it all that good stuff until next time you know what i'm going to say where there's a will star there's a way we'll see you guys later have a good one